Let's tip the bridge. Look at that. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So before we get started, go ahead and smash that like button. Go ahead and um, comment down below and subscribe if you're new here. So today we're going to be making a coconut curry andouille sausage hot pot. So this is a one pot meal. Um, the star of this is our New Orleans style andouille smoke sausage. All right. On our plate right here, we have half of an onion. We have a quarter of a bell pepper. We have two sprigs of thyme. We have a stalk of scallion, three cloves of garlic, and about a half a pound of fresh broccoli. All right? And then right here, we have a whole wheat toast that we're going to split in half. And once we split that in half, then we're going to lather with some butter, some garlic powder, onion powder to make like a nice, simple garlic toast. And guys, we're just going to saute this up. We're going to get our curry or coconut milk and all these delicious flavors. And we're going to make one delicious hot pot. All right, we're going to go over to the stove and I'm going to show you my potatoes that we're going to be cooking. We're going to cook them until they're tender, but not soft. All right, because we want to be able to, once we start simmering this in our coconut broth, then it kind of develop and soak up all those flavors. So come with me over to the stove. On the stove, we have four potatoes that we washed in some um, vinegar and salt to kind of get rid of the excess dirt from the outside. But once we boil this, it's gonna get rid of all of that. So we have these bo bean boiled skin on, um, and we added some salt or water. So as we said, we're gonna cook them until they're tender, but not soft, because we wanna be able to soak up all that coconut curry broth. So guys, stay with me, because this is gonna be one delicious recipe. So guys, in our pot right here, we have two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of canola oil. We're gonna add in all our vegetables right now. That's all our peppers, onion, garlic, and thyme. So we're just gonna give this a nice saute. To that, we're gonna add our three andouille sausage that we cut on a bias. So we're just gonna give this a nice saute. Look how beautiful that looks. So we're gonna saute this for about three minutes. And then we'll come back and add our curry powder and then our broccoli and everything else. All right, guys, so our sausage, peppers, onion, garlic, and herbs have been going for the last three, four minutes. So that we're gonna add one tablespoon of curry powder. And we're gonna cook this curry out for about two minutes. We've been going for the last about two minutes. Now we're gonna add in our broccoli. We're gonna keep sauteing for another minute or two. To that, we added two cups of water. Now we're gonna go ahead and add in our potatoes. You can add as a lot or as little potato as you want. We cook these potatoes for about six minutes. I think I cook over cook too much. I don't want this to be too, too, too much. So we add in our potatoes. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add in one cup of coconut milk. And what we're gonna do is that we're gonna um, put our stove on low. I'll show you what coconut milk we use. Um, we're going to put the stove on low now and let it simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes and then we'll check back on it and add any salt or anything that we need. All right, guys, so stay with me because this is going to be delicious. Right, so there's our bread. We cut it in half and now we're going to sprinkle garlic powder over the top, some onion powder. And then we have some garlic pepper. All right, and then we're gonna put these in the um, toaster oven until they're nice and bubbly and we start getting a little bit of crispness on it. All right guys, so our pot 
been simmering for the last five minutes. I know I said on low, but there was a lot of um, liquid in here. So we have it still on high. Um, now we're gonna add our seasoning. To this, we're gonna add one teaspoon of Creole seasoning, one teaspoon of jerk seasoning, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and half a teaspoon, one teaspoon of garlic pepper, all right? We're gonna add all our spices in. And I have a little bit of pink Himalayan salt right on the sideline, um, just in case we need just a little bit more flavor, all right? So let's stir that in. Mm. You see how rich and delicious that um, broth is coming to? Let me give it a little taste. Mm. Delicious, but it needs more salt. So to that, we're gonna add one teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt. You can add whatever salt you like, but obviously you gotta taste it. And this is all about taste. So when you're seasoning the, your hot pot, you just wanna do it to taste. So we're gonna let this simmer for another five minutes and it should be nice and rich and delicious. Guys, just look at that. You could eat this on top of a rice, some rice or anything, but I'm just gonna have some toast to soak up that delicious broth. Our hot pot is ready. Our broth is nice and rich. Um, our potatoes are nice and tender. Mm. Our broccoli is nice and cooked, our sausage. Just look how rich and delicious that looks. Wow. All right, guys, I'll see you in the mukbang. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, as you can see, we have some delicious, 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 delicious. Ooh. All right, so I'm excited about this. I've made this before, but with shrimp from my mom. I don't eat seafood, as you guys know. So this is going to be delicious. All right, so we have a topic today. We're going to be talking about why small YouTubers are just losing interest because first of all most small youtubers are not sticking to each other the larger youtubers are sticking to each other so i don't know why small youtubers want to subscribe to unsubscribe and they will subscribe to the larger youtubers without them even subscribing back to them so we're going to be talking about all those shady mess with these small youtubers who are subscribing expecting you to subscribe back to them i mean obviously um, if someone subscribed to you, it would be nice for you to subscribe back to them, but you shouldn't be subscribing to them, expecting them to subscribe back to you. Um, do I make sense? All right, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and take a thumbnail, all right? So let's do it. Mm. All right, so as you can see, we're eating a coconut curry hot pot, all right? We're drinking some Red Bull. I have water on deck too, but you know, I fell for some Red Bull today. Mm. Are you as excited as I am today? Mm. Let's dip that bread. Mm, 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 mm. Let's dip that bread. Mm, 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 mm. Look at that. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. But this is like a seafood boil. Mm. Let's get some um, sausage and potato. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. But yeah. So back to all that fake BS that these small YouTubers are doing. They're like, I'm subscribed to you. Go ahead and subscribe back to me. I feel like, as I said before, mm. It's nice to subscribe back to someone, but that's just in life in general. When I do something for someone, I don't do it because I'm expecting something back in return. I do it because I feel like doing it. I like this person and I do it for them, you know? But a lot of people in this world today, when they do something for you, you're expecting something back in return. Mm. Just look how rich. Mm. I'm so glad I'm not eating this with any rice because 
Me and I would be good with rice, that toast sucking up all that juice. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh. Mm. It's still hot. <laughs> you can see the steam coming. But yeah, so instead of us um supporting each other, mm, I'm trying to let us grow together. They make the time out of their day to watch a larger YouTuber who are already doing good things. Who already have support of people who are not content creators. Um, they'll watch them every day, but they won't watch you as a smaller creator. They're like, oh, I ain't got time. I'm hustling. I'm grinding. No, mm -hmm. It's good to watch those people. Because some of them do help smaller creators. But at the same time, we got to support each other. Because those larger creators are saying that they don't want to collab with smaller creators. Because... They are cloud chasing. So, if we are on the same level, we can't be cloud chasing. We must be chasing the goal that each other have in common, you know? Mm. Wow. Mm-mm-mm. I'm telling you. This coconut curry hot pot, delicious. And those sausages just add a nice flavor. Whew, take another bite. Whew, whew, whew. I wish I'd make more toast because, mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, make sure that You wait until it's cool. I let it set for about 10 minutes. It's still hot. But what I want to say, and please, 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 please don't forget where you're coming from. All those people who have helped you along the way, you should never forget them. Never. Because those people had, took time out of their busy schedule to help you. They have a saying in Jamaica, they say, never, never forget where you come from. And that means never forget where you're coming from. I'm telling you, that always stuck with me all my life. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And one of the reasons why I take everything that I do so seriously because growing up, my mom always tell me, if you're going to do something, you're not going to do it right, don't do it at all. That always stuck with me. I'm like, mm, I got to do this to the best of my ability because, you know, my mom say, if you ain't going to do it right, don't do it. So if I choose to do something, then I'm going to do it the right way. So shout out to all the people who support each other because going into 2020, we all need support. Going 2020 and beyond, we all need support. And they said it takes a village to raise a child. I mean, same thing. Take a village to be successful, you know? Mm. It also says there no man is an island, no man stands alone. So every successful people you see out there, they had somebody behind them, a team or somebody to help them. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Just look at that. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That toast in that coconut curry sauce, oh, lovely. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. But I'm so glad I made it. You know, when I bought the sausage, I was like, I'm going to make um, everybody doing this rice and sausage and cucumbers. I was like, I'm going to do that. I even bought the cucumbers. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And then, when I thought about it, I'm like, you know what, Adrian? You should make something a little bit different. Don't be following everybody and eating the same thing. So I decided to make this. But I'm telling you, family will love this. 
as I said, who don't want the toast, you can um, eat this by itself. But obviously the sauce, you need something to suck up the sauce. Because I see a lot of people drink um, this curry gravy, as we call it, or coconut curry sauce. Mm -mm. In Jamaica, we always hear it said that's not good for your stomach. Ooh, you see, that was a burp. <laughs> mm. But I'm kind of going to get off topic now, but you know... Growing up in Jamaica, um, they always say see, hear, blind, and deaf. And you know what that means? Mm. That means if you see something, if you hear something, you need to play deaf and you need to play blind. Because it's none of your business. If it's life threatening, then yeah, you're gonna say something. But growing up in Jamaica, we learned that that you don't need to go and run your mouth for everything that you see. Mm -mm -mm. Guys, I'm telling you, this toast. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. And that garlic pepper. Mm. You definitely taste that. These potatoes are cooked to perfection. Mm. But this is just an idea for those people who are trying to do seafood boil and want to stay a little bit away from that regular, a lot of butter sauce. Mm -mm, that's not healthy for you. Mm. Do you hear that, friend? But this is a more healthy alternative. So if you got your king crab, your lobster, all those things, you can make the same broth with the broccoli and the potato. And you can add your seafood in right at the last minute. Delicious. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. Mm. This is very fitting. So I was scrolling through YouTube the other day and I saw um, Beast Mode said he's quitting the mukbang community because it's not good for his health and eating all those bunch of food and everything. And obviously that's his decision, but um, you hear people say people are gonna die from eating so much food. If you realize that I eat quite a bit of food in my mukbang and recipes, but I know what I'm putting into my food because I I make most of it. Just look at that. Mm. So in that case, I know what I'm putting in my body. I try not to do a lot of those unhealthy challenges. Mm. But guys, I'm telling you, this is a winner. This right here is a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Mm. So, if you're new here, then go ahead and smash that um, subscribe button. Turn on your notification. And if you've been here, but you still haven't subscribed, what are you doing? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But guys, I want to say thank you all so much for watching. If you like this content, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss another upload. And go ahead and like, comment, and share. Like, comment, and share. <laughs> and as Carter's Eats would say, comment, commit, and stick. Okay? So, guys, thank you. Love you all. And peace.